Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today I thought I'd do a little demonstration on a relatively simple way of mirroring geometry. When I say you mirror it, that means you have half of a piece and you want to mirror it over to the other side to make a whole piece. This could be anything from a car to a character's face, like you could model half of a face and mirror it for the other side. Uh, lots of different applications for mirroring things. I use mirroring a lot for my environment uh, project is currently happening on my YouTube channel. You might have noticed I have like 15 parts as of this recording. And I use mirroring a lot for creating the complicated shapes of the chandeliers and things like that. So how do you mirror something? And then in addition to that, how do you also combine those two halves together and merge them together? So there's a couple ways we can do it. Uh, one really simple way though is to simply use a couple combinations of commands going through a couple of different steps. First let's go to create polygon primitives and sphere. So we'll just use a sphere and I'm going to scale it up. I'm also going to rotate it 90 degrees something like this and hide the grid. And then I'm just going to delete half the sphere just selecting these faces and delete. So now I have this half sphere. Let's just pretend that this half sphere is actually a really awesome, very detailed character's face that I have spent days working on, right? And I want to mirror it to have the entire face all ready and done. So to mirror it, I'll need to do a couple different things. First things first, look over in the channel box and you see I have my rotate Z is, is negative 90 because I rotated the, the sphere and my scale values are all 3.2. So what I'd like to do is freeze the transformations of my head, because I'm all done modeling it and everything, so I can go to Modify, Freeze Transformations. And by freezing the transformations, it causes all these channel box entries to go back to their default values. You see my scale XYZ is now one, which is default, but it didn't change my shape or anything. It just made all my numbers whole default numbers. So now I can duplicate Control D my sphere. So I have two halves on top of each other like this. And you'll notice the little arrow that's pointing the direction that I want to mirror. Depending on which angle your object is oriented, you may mirror on different axes. For example, the Z axis going that way, the blue handle, or the red handle x-axis going this way. And in my case, we're going to mirror in the x-axis. So scale x, I'm going to type negative 1 and hit enter. So by scaling my duplicate, negative 1 is actually reversing it to the other side of the model. But we're not done yet though. I still have two different halves, so I'm going to combine these two together. So I'm going to select both halves and go to Mesh, Combine click combine and now we're done right well not quite if I uh, select these faces that make up the half that I duplicated and mirrored and then I move them you'll notice that they're, it's still separated through the middle they're not actually merged together they're just combined into one object they're not fused together you can still see I have that hard seam edge down the middle of my poor character's face so I want to merge those vertices and blend and seamlessly blend these edges together. So I'm going to right click and choose vertex. I'll just select all these vertices right down the middle of the sphere. And now I'll go to Edit Mesh, Merge. And let's go into the options. So I'm going to say Edit, Reset Settings, just to make sure I have my default values here. And because my threshold is so low, 0.01, that's the distance that Maya is looking to merge vertices together. So it's only going to merge vertices that are within 0.01 units of each other. And so the only ones that are that close are the ones that are right on top of each other running down the middle of the sphere. So by having this low of a threshold and having these vertices selected, I can hit merge. Nothing visible happens but the merge does take place and you can tell but if I right click and select faces and again choose the faces that make up that half of the model and move them and now instead of them separating they actually stretch that half of the sphere away and the vertices running in the middle of the sphere have now been merged together and blended together seamlessly. 
except there is a seam. You can still see it right there, that hard edge. So how do we get rid of that now? Well, one more step real quick. I'm going to right click and choose edges. I'll just double click this edge to select the entire edge loop. And then I'll go to Mesh Display Soften Edge. Mesh Display Soften Edge. Click that button there. And now when I rotate my sphere, there's no more hard edged seam running down the middle of my sphere like there was a minute ago. And then you can notice they have a lot of history here, so if you're done with your model, you have it all mirrored and merged together and all that seam stuff taken care of, you can hit Delete History by going to Edit, Delete by Type History to remove all that stuff we've done. You can see over here in the channel box, it's now empty down here where all those list of uh, commands we had done were listed there. And now my sphere is whole and full and not in half anymore. So there's lots of steps there, you might have noticed. So let's just do one more alternative. This is my 2017. I'm going to right click and choose faces. Select those faces again. And I'm just going to delete them. So we're back to our original half sphere, or half car, or half face, or whatever it might be. If I go to mesh, you'll see down here highlighted in green, indicating it's a new command, new in Maya 2017. There is a mirror command. Click mirror. Oh, what happened? I don't know. Something weird's going on. Well, let me undo that and just go into the options and show you what all is in here. Mesh, mirror, options. Edit, reset settings. So we have our default values here. But you can see here we have mirror settings. And we can say mirror axis is X. Okay, that sounds right. But then the mirror direction here is negative X. And what we actually want to do is go positive X. So let's change this to a plus sign or positive X. And then here, down here you see we have merge settings. We can combine with the original and merge border vertices. Those are the same steps that we did earlier, except this command is going to automatically go through all those steps. It's going to combine with the original. It's going to merge the border vertices and the merge threshold. It's going to be automatic. That merge threshold again is that distance we're there looking for or you can go here to custom and put in your own distance threshold. Automatic is usually the 0 0.01 value that we saw earlier. And then there's a smoothing angle, so we can soften that edge right here right now by typing in a high value, like 180, to smooth or soften that merge. So this command actually goes through all those steps I just showed you in one swift button press. Boom. I clicked the mirror button. And now my sphere has been mirrored, it has been combined together, and those vertices are all merged. If I select the faces and then move them, it stretches out like that because those vertices have been merged together just like we wanted. And that was the mirror command. I'll have a video eventually going over all of those settings we saw under mesh mirror options. But just see, with this brief look at them, you can kind of get a good sense of what this mirror command can do. It's actually very handy. The, those steps that I walked you through at the beginning of the video are the steps that I've used for years to mirror things. And now Maya 2017 has kind of automated that process here by giving you a very handy kind of condensed tool or command that will go through all those motions for you. So that's essentially uh, introduction to the mirror command, but that's how you would mirror something. And if you do have an earlier version of Maya that does not have the mirror command, you would go through those steps like I went over in the beginning. If you do do that though, keep in mind that the scale is going to scale based on your pivot point. So for example, if I were to delete those faces once more, so I have my half sphere here, you'll see I'm going to scale X, negative 1, that was the original step that we did after I, of course, duplicate the sphere, negative 1, to get this one. However, just keep in mind, it's based on the pivot point. So if my pivot point right here, the center of where the, the middle of the sphere was, this works fine. However, if I hold down D and move my pivot point over here, and then scale X, negative 1, we're going to get this, which mir duplicates and mirrors the sphere way over here, not right next to it, ready to merge together. So it's all based on where that pivot is. So keep that in mind. And if you do need to change where the pivot is for the purposes of your mirror, you can hold down the D key to move the pivot point like we did. 
And then also you can hold down, for example, V for point snap. So hold down D as in dog, V as in violin, click and drag, and now my pivot point has snapped to the outermost ring of edges here, because it's a point snap. And then I'll know that that pivot point is right there on this border edge. Okay, so keep that in mind if you're using an earlier version of Maya or if you, for whatever reason, don't want to use the mirror command and you want to use that uh, more manual way of doing it. So anyway, hope you learned a little bit about mirroring your objects. Hopefully I'll make your workflow a little bit easier. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe. I definitely appreciate it. If you feel like you want to support me in a more personal way, please consider becoming a one of my patrons on Patreon. I'd really appreciate that. My patrons currently get access to all of my videos before the public do. I also prioritize all of my patrons' video requests. So if anyone any of my patrons ask me to go over a specific topic, I will prioritize those topics more than any others. In any case, thanks again for watching. Hope you learned a little bit, and I'll talk to you later.